let's talk about what market research is not. It's not sending a survey to your list. It's not popping something up on social and saying, you know, are you dealing with this, this, and this? It's not putting words in your client's mouths. You actually want to be very kind of open-ended and you want to find out what their pain points are according to who? Them. Them. Okay, the, like what really astonished us once we started actually talking to real human beings that fit our ideal client profile was the problem that they had and how they articulated it was like eons, like the Grand Canyon away from what we thought their problem was. Okay, so if you think this, this is the problem, but this is the problem, and all your marketing message, your Facebook Lives, your website, everything, networking, it's all to this, are you ever gonna reach these people? Nope. Never. Even though this might be the perfect holy grail solution, if they can't see that th this is their problem, if they can't see what this has to do with where they are right now, are they going to invest in it? How many of you have experienced something like this? Mm -hmm. Okay. There is a lot of pain when you realize that what you're offering and putting out into the world is irrelevant. Yes. Yes. Okay. It's painful. It is. It's really painful. So you want to use speaking and network to generate a consistent flow of qualified leads every month. Notice I did not say you want to create funnels and do the social media every day. Right. Speaking Why? Because they don't create qualified leads. Mm-hmm. And remember, you're in phase one, which is profitability. Okay, later when you're in a different phase, that might be a good strategy. So a lot of you are doing a lot of the right things, but in the wrong order. And you're wondering why you're racking your brain not getting the results, because you're putting the cart before the horse. So it's really important to build a solid foundation for the years to come, and then build on that, and build on that. See, so the challenge is, is if you don't know how to answer the question, what do you do? If you go networking, you will not get qualified leads. And you could go, I mean, we, we talked to a woman the other day, a couple of weeks ago, she was going to four networking events a, a week. Yeah. A week. I'm like, you must okay. be exhausted. She's like, I am. Oh. <laughs> when you know how to talk about what you do, one, one, uh, what you, you usually can go walk away from a networking event with at least two to three qualified leads. It means you're going to get on the phone and have a conversation about doing business with you. Mm -hmm. Okay. And if you're speaking, you should be getting half the room mm -hmm. to do that. Yep. Okay.